Hey everybody, welcome back to Ready Steady Play. We're playing Too Many Bones, the uh, sexiest adventuring game of 2017. It's pretty sexy. 2017 game. It's a 2017 game. Yeah. So we're about to commence our first battle. Fight! In which uh, neither of us actually get to go first. The first person Shit. to go is the from Goblin. So, and he just attacks both of us. Yep, so I'm going to roll his attack on me first. Should we roll it on? Can we do it to each other? I think that's more fun. Okay, so this is his attack on you then. Yeah. Yay, burn. So he actually takes one damage from that because He's... he is an idiot. So this careless here means whenever you roll the bone, it does one damage to himself. He also has mischief one. Does that come into play yet? That means he steals... Remove dice from the target active slots before attacking. Okay. But I have that's nothing fine. in my active slots. Yeah, that's fine. So this good. Yeah. So now I'm going to roll against yeah. you. See how I rolled a bone for you? And I rolled oh, a bone for you. Nice. We are super good at killing goblins. We are really good. <laughs> wow. We probably shouldn't go. Guy. Why even bother going attack to attack him? <laughs> just, he'll just kill himself. Kill himself. Yeah. Okay. So he's finished activating. And now it's me. Yay. That's the most fun part. So um, should I get my pets out? You mean your pet? My mom pet. Uh, yes. And a defense die. Sounds good. Um, who, who shall I fight? Like, who can you get to? You can't fight anyone. Because, oh yeah, because you've got the command die now. I think you should hit the well, roll first path, anyway. Because he's the fastest to kill. The others have thick skin. I could um, just roll a full attack against him, but I feel like getting the direwolf out now is... No, get the direwolf out now, because okay. uh, he's going to attack the weakest, and I don't want that to be me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Okay, so I got one bone, which I'm going to go ahead and put straight onto my backup plan. The, you can also put these in backup plan, but you obviously forfeit them. If you choose not to use them, they go back on your map. But with the attack and defense die, yeah. you pretty much always... I, I haven't seen a reason why you wouldn't put them as the backup plan. So unfortunately, your command die is completely useless to you because it's a Hulk ability. So I'm going to put that back on my map to mm -hmm. use next time. But uh, because you rolled it, you can still activate him? Is that how it works? No, I have to spend this. Oh, okay. So he just is going to sit there now. Yeah. And, and be he, like, I'm a little yeti. <laughs> I'm a yeti. He has... What, he doesn't have lashback, does he? He has hardy. Oh, he has hardy. That's really good. So hardy means that whenever he takes damage, it's all reduced to one. It's really good. It's really good. Although none of these guys do a particularly large amount of damage, to be honest. It's okay for now. It's okay. So, uh, that's my go. And he, this little green thing in the top right, it's not on every side, it's on most sides. There's a side without it here. That green in the top right means that it now counts towards my uh, dexterity value. If you want to activate him. No, well, just while he's in uh, while he's in play. Oh, really? Yeah. But you can do a thing with him for free, right? Yeah, I mean, I use him before I play, so. But yeah. I uh, how does he move? He moves up to two and attacks just like a monster. Oh, he looks just like a monster. Just like a monster. That's great. Like a baddie. So, um, so he's, I'm done. So now number three, the blue guy activates, which is this cute little pup who does lashback. So he'll attack the nearest guy, which is my little yelly over here. So roll one dice for the attack. He rolled a one. So that does one damage. Reduced to one. Oh, wait. <laughs> Okay, and that's him activated, and now it's you. Great. Well, I'm kind of at a loss what to do, Ben, because most of my stuff involves powering up. Um, I could move one, and then throw... Can I throw... I, this isn't a dexterity to throw this, is it? Yeah, you have to roll that. So I, rolling this costs dexterity. Yeah. And rolling this costs dexterity. Yeah. Costs. So what I'm actually going to do this round is spend my three decks to roll these three die, which are all kind of buffs and stuff, but it just kind of gets me set up for the combat and ready to go, and then a defense die to keep me safe in case that uh, Goblin Bomber tries to blow me up. What he might do, if he does blow me up, is actually remove one of my um, active die, which is one of these buffs I'm about to use. That'll make me sad, but oh well, you know, he might not hit me. He might die. Did you attack him? No, because then I'd have to move. But you, oh, you don't have the free movement yet. Yeah, yeah it makes that's, sense. I, that's why I'm just going to yeah. put on all my, my, my buffs. What'd I get? Well, you got a bone for the movement. Oh, no. There's only one bone on that die. But you've got your plus one shield. 
Mm. And you've got two defense, which is super good. Yeah, so that's really good. That makes me sort of really defensive. Unfortunately, that also makes me quite uh, vulnerable to... Uh... So what I could do is put this into my backup plan here, and then uh, I could exhaust it to collect stones and make a ranged attack. That'd actually be quite good. But then you lose that die for the rest of the game. You don't, you'll never get Yeah, I'll never get the dash this conflict, conflict, but I could sling a stone at that guy and kill him. Yeah, but not straight away. Why, why not? Because you've already rolled three dice, which is your dexterity limit. Okay, well, I think what I'll do then is I'll put this back on my gear lock mat and save it for later. Okay. Um, cool. So now we have the green monster activating. Mm -hmm. So he goes two towards the weakest, which is this way. So he'll go one, two, and attack attack the Yeti. Do you want to roll? Sure. Come on, roll a bone. Come on, bone. No. Little Yeti. No. No. And then the uh, the troll brute will now head towards the strongest. So that's one of us. So he can only go this way around. So he'll go, because he can't move diagonally. So he'll go one, two to that. Ha. Yeah, he'll, yeah, he's still alive. Oh, he might die, because the bomb is probably going to blow him up. Cool. cool. So it's now round two, so we take that up by one. Shift them down, and then the bomber goes. So it has to attack the two weakest, so it's got to attack the Yeti. It's got to attack the... I think it should attack you and little Yeti, because I stand to lose my defense bonus if it hits me. What do you mean? Well, if it hits me, I would lose this. You won't lose that. Oh! Because of mischief. Oh, yeah, that sucks. It'll get rid of all of them. All right, fine. Well, attack little Yeti. Yeah, well, we'll do that first. He might just kill himself. Come on, kill himself. Please, 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 please. Boom! No! 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 Oh, yeah, he's dead. So that's taken out all my, like, command stuff. Which really sucks. Cool. And now roll for me. No, you're just a... Just an archer. No, just an archer. Yes! Oh, but he dies. I roll the bomb. Uh, a, a bone. So he just blows himself up. Boom. Ah, stupid goblin. So that guy's in the dead train. Put that there. So we, he's out of it. So now it's you. Yay. Uh, so, I'm pretty sad about my my dude dying. So I'm going to have to roll. <laughs> Sorry, Lil Yeti 2 will be back in the next fight. <laughs> On the next episode. So I'm going to be rolling three dice uh, with three dexterity, two attack and one defense. And I will attack the dude who can do left back. Yeah, the Daryl pup. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got another bone, so I'll take that over there. But that's three damage. That kills him. Pow. Holy shit. Yep. Boom, boom, boom. You're dead. Oh, yeah. Nice work. Gilly rules. All right, so now we get to go straight to me. Um, I have a question. Does this just add a defense die to my roll? No, it adds... It lets you roll... One extra defense die in addition to your dexterity. So that's when you can roll four dice. So I can roll a dex, uh, defense die now. You can roll, uh, yeah, whatever you roll, you can also add a defense dice for free. Oh, brilliant. Great. So I guess, well, the problem I've got is I don't have any free movement, and I guess I want to attack an enemy. Um, that guy's going to move two to either here or here. So I'm kind of inclined to just... Oh, shit. I, I'm drunk. <laughs> I'm kind of inclined to just, you know, do that. Yeah. Um, because then the other guy can't hit me this round. We can kind of decide where he goes. Um, so that's one dexterity. So then I'm going to add uh, two... Well, I'm going to add this attack die and my long blade, I guess. And just hit it. You can put another attack die in. Why? No, I can't, because I've used one of my dexterity to move. Yes, you have. Um, I could roll my dash die, but... You don't really need it. Yeah, I mean, it'd be nice to have it, because it'd kind of let me sort of move around and avoid this guy. But we're going to kill him. But... Probably. Although thick skin is annoying, it reduces the first damage you do to the enemy. That's fine. So I managed to miss the tray with that one. But uh, that's two damage plus one defense. So that's going to go up there. He's going to take two damage. Yay. I mean, I did three, but he reduces one because of thick skin. 
Sweet. That's a pretty good turn. Yeah. So he now activates. Killing the monsters. He's just going to hit you back. Yeah. If I can he got a one. So uh, it knocks a shield out. And then the other guy activates and he'll go. We can choose. Around the top, please. One. Two. And he can't attack. So new round. Round three. Mago. Okay. So I can shoot him. Do it, Gilly. Should I, should I pick him off, or should I let, or should I go for the big guy? Why do you want to do this? Um, why don't you have split shot like a proper ranger? I do. I have to spend my bones though. Oh yeah, you can actually do that. Well, you might as well because you're not going to spend them on anything else this game. That's true. Bones don't. Bones are lost at the end of combat. That's true. So I can split it. I can pay for them after I do it though, which is cool. So that lets me select a new target after applying at least one die to your initial target this turn. Select a new... Oh, but that means I can only knock. I can't, like, double my damage. That's what multi-arrow does. Well, why don't you roll three combat? I mean, they're all... I only have two attack. Oh, you suck. Yeah, I do. Especially because all my, my companions are out. Damn it. All right, well, I'll just... Should I just pick him off? I mean, might as well. Might as well. Might as well do that. Job's done. Job's done. Alrighty. Because I can kill him. I can kill him. Probably. It's likely. Nope, you suck. Ah, well, it takes out his thick skin. And it finally gives me a shield. And a bone. What do you need a shield for? I don't know. For chilling. Oh, your three bone thing is fortunate discovery. Yeah. That allows you to spawn a consumable. Yeah. I think you should get an extra mech leg. <laughs> don't know what that does. I don't know what that Why do you take your turn? I will read up on it. So. You know, five or two. So I'm gonna. I'm probably just gonna. I mean, it seems like a waste because this guy's so. already. So I might roll my dash die just because. Um, nah. What does a mech leg do? So here we go, big attack on oh, the cool. troll rombo. I can just get bones <laughs> with my mech leg. <laughs> you just use that for bones. That's great. Okay, you die. You're super dead. I didn't get any bones, dude. I wanted some bones. Bye bye. There you go. Cool. And now finally, Senor Purple moves. Should I just move him here? Or here? Doesn't sure. Matter. Put him there. And he hits you for... Oh, we haven't been rolling his defense dice. He hasn't rolled yet. Oh, that's true. Okay. So I'll roll for him. So he rolls his attack and defense. Because this guy has an attack and a defense dice. And whatever he rolls on the defense will sit on him. So he got a one hit and a defense. So his defense sits there, and that's one damage to you, which you can knock out with a shield. I'm um, invincible. Fools. So he has thick skin and cares. Cool. So now we have round four. And my turn to act. Um, shall I spend my bones? Why don't you do something useful? Okay, well, I'm doing the attack on him anyway. So let's get that out of the way first. So I rolled three damage. So that takes off his thing. That gets through his thick skin and pops one damage at him. Yeah, I did something. I'm awesome. I mean, it doesn't matter. You're probably gonna kill him anyway. It's cool. I'll check it out later. Yep. Okay. Sorry. Awesome. Did you exhaust his thing? His, yeah, his I, thick skin? Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, well, I'm just going to hit him up with everything I got. Active dice remain here until you... Uh... Meh! I did four damage. Yeah, he did. <laughs> I'm actually going to spend all this quickly to gain my uh, fortunate discovery, these bones. Uh, mech leg, mech leg, mech leg. Oh, I can also take bait. That's so cool. Mech leg. But bait. Okay, bait. What does bait do? I don't know. Pet reroll. Reroll any companion die up to that many times. Whoa! That's really good. Okay, yeah, I get that. I like anything that helps your pets. That's really freaking useful. Or I can get 
camo, which means... Nobody cares about that. Used to modify badly points when preparing. I can alter the m- number of badly points. That's really good. <laughs> <laughs> um, so consumables are like dies that you grab for like a one-off effect and then spend, um, unless they're my sling stones, and then I just kind of accumulate them. But uh, do you know what's going to happen? We're going to get some loot. Uh, we're going to get loot each. We're also going to level up once each. Tomorrow I'm ready to see play. Yay. So make sure you come back to find out what spoils of war we got. They're just boring old regular loot cards, unfortunately. But, uh, you know, it's still better than nothing. We'll no, also that's get a, to that's a trove of loot, dude. No, it's not. That's uh, that is purple if it's trove of loot. Yeah, that's oh, just one yeah, of yeah. each. Yeah. Fair. So uh, we'll get uh, some loot tomorrow. We'll level up again. Then we'll go and have another encounter, probably involving more conflict. Um, and you can see us nail it just like we nailed this one. Yeah. So come back. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. Leave a comment on the series if you're enjoying it. Throw down a like on the video. That'd be great. And, uh, you know, Nugget will be back. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>